Hello beautiful people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome to my channel. I will implore you to watch this video to the end and I'll be coming back to analyze it. It's a very interesting video, you have to check it out. Free for terrorists, no greed for perpetrators of insecurity. And let me say again. On this note that the new slogan for 2023-24 for our young ones is no degree for anybody. Uh, we have been informed from our intelligence that this slogan is coming from a revolutionary sector that may likely cause problems across the country. No degree for anybody is being seen as just a normal talk, but in security business, in the security community, we have seen it as a very, very dangerous slogan that can trigger crisis. No grief for anybody. No grief. No grief for anybody. So, Mr. Olumu, you are the job. <laughs> Nigerian police has come out to say that the slogan, the motivational and inspirational push that people want to just use to push themselves to survive in this 2024 has become a crime or a problem. A young lady from Global's Bank in Korodu ended her life and it's all over the news this morning. The hardship is too much. I'm sure she didn't have a means or where to borrow money to jump out from Nigeria. She looked at herself and looked at the promises her motherland gave her, and none was fulfilled. She ended her life. Nigerian police have the audacity. Where in the criminal code, or which law, are satisfied that the, the, the slogan, no grief for anybody, has become a problem or a threat to you? Nigerian police, if you go through, from seven up, going down to a daughter, Nigerian police, they are there every day of their life using POS to collect money from citizens. And you, you think that one is morally and constitutionally right? Nigerian police, the Korobu roundabout, every day they are there taking bribes from citizens. That is also morally right. Nigerian police will take money, transfer it into their account, intimidate citizens, holding their guns and cigarettes. That is morally justified. The same Nigerian police could not meet the five demands of answers. That is still morally justified. Mr. Libuiwa, are we in the land of slavery? Is freedom of speech now a problem to you? You want Nigerians to obey, but you cannot afford to give citizens their fundamental rights that you owe them. You think it is easy to survive in this present day Nigeria? We will need the president of this country, Baba Jagaban, to come and tell us that no grief for anybody has become a problem to his economy. Because since the government cannot provide for its citizens, and the government is still pleading and appealing to citizens to endure, and citizens have looked for a way to just endure and encourage themselves, what has no grief for anybody going to do? Without indicting public interest, Mr. Muiwa. This video is not an intention to indict public interest, but the question is, which court of law has, has certified or approved that no grief for anybody is a problem to Nigeria? Please, no grief for anybody. Is it going to disturb the president from devaluing the Naira? Or is it going to disturb the president from bringing dollar to 570 Naira? No grief for anybody. Is it going to stop the atrocities that the Nigerian police are committing? We are in a land of democracy. Your police officers have their own slogan. Your police officers have become nuisance on the street. They wear bathroom slippers. They drive anyhow. That is a that is an eyesore. That is a shame to we citizens of this country. Because we own the Nigerian police. They are called to serve and protect us. They are not protecting our lives. Rather, they are ripping us. They are intimidating us. They are frustrating us. You go to a Nigerian police station. You have to pay for everything. From paper to pen. From bell to fuel. And you have the audacity. You have never come on social media to announce to the public that no citizen should give any police officer bribe. You have the audacity to come and to come in the midst 
of citizens who have gathered with the spirit of Umoja to just make themselves happy. Nothing is encouraging about the country. Nothing is encouraging about the system. Nothing is encouraging about the economy. Nothing is encouraging about the security. Please, if only the Nigerian police wants people to start developing mental mental disability. Explain to us. No grief for anybody. Means don't move back. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. One day you will get there. Keep pushing. Keep encouraging yourselves. Just know that we will get there one day. And now it has become a crime. You know what, Mr. Muiwade Dobi? You have not done your best. The best is for you to insult all the citizens to help with you people. In the land of democracy, you have the audacity to come and tell us, we, that we have survived the tumor, we, that we have survived the reaping, the siphoning, the embezzlement that politicians and you police officers have done to us. No grief for anybody this year, my fellow citizens of Nigeria. If you want us to stop that slogan, then call your police officers to order. If you want us to stop that slogan, make our demands for answers. You this of this country. You made them mentally. You made them lose hope for their motherland. A lot of our citizens have run away. Our hospitals are empty. Our children do not receive medical attention. Our children are not interested in going to school. You don't think about that. The only thing that matters to you is the little way and the little effort they put into encouraging themselves. No grief for anybody. For this country will not survive. He bad as he bad. No grief. Don't give up. Push it. We will get there. Nobody said it's going to be easy. But we have made it easier for ourselves by motivating ourselves. What threat has that post brought to you? What threat does that statement, statement bring to you? How has that statement drawn Nigerian back? In the sense of international board or locally, you people just want to demoralize every opportunity that the living people in this country are using to survive. The little battery they are using to push themselves to endure until it gets better. You want to drain it and you are telling us that no grief for anybody has become a problem. But your police officers, they rip citizens on the daily. They drive deaths and shabbily. They are drunkards. They are smokers. They use their guns against the citizens rather than protecting them. When you call them for protection, they don't have fuel. But when, you call, when, when citizens come out their mass to raise their voice, parents, governments should listen to the citizens rather they feel threatened. Every remembrance or answers, people come out well dressed and mass. You mount your effort and your act. Cowardly energy, and you want to intimidate us and push us back into ourselves. Don't you ever! We have not forgotten. We are only waiting and hopeful that it is going to get better. But if you feel we have forgotten, don't dig up the wounds. We are everybody ready to stand for a better Nigeria. Rubbish. Now that you have finished watching that video, what did you see? Nigerian police is a disgrace. The military are disgrace. When I told you that the military and police have been the ones collaborating with, with government to kill innocent people in Nigeria. You thought I was playing. You saw what happened in instance protest. How the people were moved anti did The then thing come out from it, that's how it's known. The same people that planned the killing of innocent people, are they not the people in power today? We kill is the other side of River State, murder so many people people. The name of looking for people members because of answers protest. Why tribu also was in Lagos, murdered so many Nigerian youth because they we are protesting for answers to stop. We are, we are protesting for SARS to stop operating in Nigeria. This is what we are telling you. This is what we have continued to tell you. There's no nothing you do. To make them to stop, they are here to kill, they are here to destroy. Look at what a man who calls himself a police was saying. Look at what the useless military are saying. This will tell you that they are all recruited from ambit of Boko Haram. Look, as far as they are concerned, they do the bidding of the government, they don't care 
about you. They don't want to know who you are. They don't give a damn. What they care about is how to kill you. Because they are receiving enough bribe from the so-called leaders. Policemen in other countries protect the citizens from the hands of criminal leaders. But in Nigeria, a different thing. Soldier men, the same thing. In other countries, they protect the citizens from the hands of criminal leaders. But in Nigeria, it's a different ball game. It's a place where judiciary is in the pocket of Bola Metinibu. The police is in the pocket of Bola Metinibu. The soldier is in the pocket of Bola Metinibu and his predecessor. For so many years, APC has ruled Nigeria. They have brought nothing but shame, disgrace, criminality. And people should say the way it is. When you have a drop baron as the president of Nigeria, what do you expect to happen? But you will see some of them will rant. They call themselves youth. They will criticize them the canon because he asked for freedom of his people. You guys are shameless and you should go and hide their face in shame. I don't have more to say. I think I've come to the end of this news. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching.